detective is accused of having sticky fingers. Investigators say he was trying to sell several expensive pieces of jewelry reported missing after a raid. CBS 4's Cynthia Demas has more. This is Detective Carell Rosario with Miami-Dade Police for nine years, but now he's facing serious charges. The state attorney's office says Rosario served a search warrant here at the home of Yulia Martinez. Last month, CBS4 reported Martinez and her husband were charged for selling fraudulently acquired pharmaceuticals. Martinez was taken into federal custody, and when she bonded out of jail, she noticed several pieces of jewelry gone, including a Cartier watch containing a custom diamond bezel, Cartier-style nail bracelet, Rolex Daytona watch, and several other pieces of jewelry by Bulgari and David Yerman, and several expensive perfume bottles, a total value of more than $100,000. When police remove items from a raid, they leave a receipt. The Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office said no receipts were left. Investigators say on May 27th, Rosario went to the famous Siebold building, known for jewelry, and met with jeweler Joel Hernandez, who runs You Save on Time. Reports say Rosario tried to sell a Cartier watch and Cartier-style nail bracelet like this. Hernandez wasn't interested, but posted pictures of the Cartier watch to a social site, WhatsApp, for other jewelers to check out. Another jewel, Joel Vigo, who we spoke with on the phone but wouldn't comment, saw the pictures and told the You Save on Time worker he sold that specific watch and bracelet to Yulia Martinez's husband. Please leave a message after the phone. Hi, this is Cynthia Dimas from Channel 4. No one answered at the Martinez home today, but it's when Vigo contacted Martinez that she filed a report and everything was out in the open. State Attorney Catherine fernandez Rundle said, honesty and integrity are the core values of every effective police agency. This is a sad day for the law enforcement community. Rosario lives in this gated community here in Miramar. We could not get a hold of him for comment, but we do understand he turned himself in last night and was charged with grand theft and dealing in stolen property. The reports also say that there is a surveillance video of this attempted transaction at the Seabold building, but that video is not being released by the state attorney's office at this time. In Miramar, I'm Cynthia Dimas, CBS4 News. Now all new.